Hello everyone, this is uh, the Underdoll, aka the German Viking, and I, I this kind of prompted me to do uh, an update or, or a follow-up to this video, because I haven't uh, actually done one. And uh, it was uh, someone who commented a, a day ago called Ice Queen on my original video on uh, Matt Walsh. And uh, I, I'm going to read out the comment, uh, because... Uh, uh, it's a re really good comment. Uh, him believing about Neva uh, leaving Neverland made me uh, lose my respect for him, especially on Twitter. Hell, he even thinks that all MJ fans like me are brainwashed fools. Well, thanks for telling the truth, Matt. We love you not. I w if I wouldn't lose my respect for this guy, he would have destroyed the waste uh, of a documentary, which is leaving uh, Neverland. He should have done research about Michael and his true selves. This makes me so sad. And his original article also has, he, he claims there are seven reasons uh, that uh, uh, Michael Jackson is a horrible uh, human being. And these uh, seven facts uh, uh, prove it. I'm going to read them again. Jackson sought and befriended prairie boss and boys. He took uh, these boys as companions and traveled the world with them. Every so often, he would find a new young male companion and move uh, from on from the old one. This fact is not disputed. Jackson lavished the boys' families with gifts and money. The fact is not disputed, uh, according to you. Uh, Jackson I invited the boys to his home, which was filled with toys and candy. This uh, fact is not disputed. Jackson invited the boys into his bed. The fact is not disputed. Jackson had a stash of bondage porn by the bed. This fact is not disputed. The bed was in a room behind a locked door at the end of the hallway equipped with alarm system that would alert him when someone was approaching. This fact is not disputed. Five of the boys who shared the bed with uh, Jackson later accused him of abuse. Uh, this fact is uh, uh, also not disputed. So let's read the updated ar article. Report leaving Neverland discrepancy found in key part of a film denouncing Michael Jackson. I highly recommend you watch uh, Razor Fist. He, he, he uh, did an awesome stream with, um, with Ricada Law, Nick Ricada, and uh, has debunked this uh, pretty heavily. Uh, a British journalist said he found significant discrepancy in HBO's Leaving the Neverland uh, documentary, raising questions about the film's credibility and its uh, graphic molestation allegations against the late international entertainment icon, Michael Jackson. Since its release a month ago, so it's uh, uh, the, the article is uh, is a month old, but I still want to talk, talk about this, so it's... Uh, at the time of recording, two months. Several tabloids in the United uh, Kingdom have published a series of critiques based on the research of uh, reporter Mike Smallcomb, who also authored a biography on the King of Pop. He says most of the damning discovery focuses on a claim made by J uh, James Safechuck, who has repeatedly said that he was sexually abused by Jackson from 1988 to 1992, ending when he was 14 years old. In what New the New York Times described as one of the most uncomfortable sequences in the film, Safechuck recounted multiple locations on Jackson's California Never, Never Land Valley Ranch, where he said inappropriate interactions took place. At the train station, there was a room upstairs, and we would have sex up there, too, Safe Shock alleges. However, Smallcomb obtained a building permits last week uh, that he says discredited Safe Shock's story. Construction on Neverland's uh, train station didn't start until the latter part of 1993. Oops. Oops. And it didn't open until uh, the first part of 1994, when Safechuck was 16. Smallcomb told the Mirror Online. So, there's a lie, lie number one there. This fact is not disputed, Matt Walsh. So, abuse in the train station wasn't possible if the abuse stopped in 1992, as he claims in his testimony, as it didn't even exist then. Between February 1994 and December 1994, Jackson was living in Trap Tower in New York, recording his uh, History Hour album. Smallcomb added, so again... This fact is not disputed. Uh, by the time Jackson was at Neverland uh, and the train station was actually open, it was early 1995, three years after Safe Shark said the abuse stopped. He continued, about, and by then Safe Shark was 17 and on the cusp of uh, adulthood. This fact is not disputed. 
So I'm going to read out his uh, tweet. In the last couple of hours, I've been given uh, access to the Santa Barbara County construction permits for the Neverland train station by my source approved September 1993. Leaving uh, Lebanon, uh, Director uh, Dan Reed acknowledged that Safe Truck's timeline of events was flawed but continued to defend his accusations, tweeting, Yeah, there seems to be no doubt about the station date. The date uh, they have is wrong at, at the end of, uh, is the end of the abuse. And here's his uh, uh, rebuttal. So Dan Reed is now saying because the story has been debunked, suddenly the end of Safe Chuck's uh, abuse was when he was 16, 17 rather than 14. It's a three year discrepancy. Just hold your hands up, don't change the story. This is what happens when you don't investigate properly. This fact is not disputed. Uh, Reed went on to state that Safe Truck was at the Neverland both uh, before and after the uh, construction of the main uh, of the train station there, so, uh, suggesting sexual encounters might have uh, continued into his uh, post pubescent years, leaving Neverland's s critics say Reed's co elaboration conflicts with the central theme of his documentary. This fact is not disputed. Uh, a huge part of the, the movie's narrative is that Jackson lost his sexual uh, interest in these boys when they reached uh, the age of 14, supposedly because that's when uh, puberty hit, explained John Sigler, a senior columnist for Media. Yeah, it, 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 it's full of contradictions. On Monday, the Mirror reported that the story has taken another turn as it's uh, emerged two Jack uh, that two Jackson biographers both wrote about Another train station on the ground of the estate, which was there in 1990. Those accounts were dismissed by Smallcomb on Tuesday morning. He referenced to source notes in one of the cited books, which he claimed clarified that the author's description of what Neverland might have looked like to visitors in 1990 was in fact based on a 2003 Sheriff's uh, Department video. Smallcomb said that uh, the other publication did not say the train was there in 1990 uh, and was penned by a ghostwriter collaborating with two bodyguards who did not start working until uh, the mid 2000s oopsie boopsie yeah their uh, sources are all over the place and here I, uh, are his tweets and in, in, in uh, I'm inundated with messages about puck a couple of mock-up tabloid stories regarding Neverland train station again here is a statement which should ad address those false stories the bottom line is Neverland's uh, one and only train station opened in 1994 here is once again the Santa Barbara County construction permit of Neverland's one and only train station approved September 1993 this is a photo of Neverland's ranch uh, taken on August 25th 1993 by photographer Stephen D. Karg on Getty. There is no train station, only a frol clock. Oops. This fact is not disputed. Uh, Safe Truck, in now 41, along with uh, leaving Neverland's other accuser, Wade Robson, 36, defended Jackson's honor when the singer was alive but filed lawsuits against his estate, asking for millions of dollars after his death. The cases were dismissed and uh, are currently under appeal. According to a liar who represents uh, both Safe Truck and Robson, a safe Truck's train sh station fiction is one of the s uh, of several lies in this film. Shows that neither the director or HBO uh, ever bothered to verify the claims by made by these accusers," said H Howard Weitzman, an uh, attorney for the Jackson estate, in a statement. Okay, so let me get this straight: they th all of the, what they claim is factually inaccurate when it comes to uh, the the timelines. FBI has debunked this. The, the, the civil court cases, uh, they didn't win. I think the one, and don't miss, uh, quote me here, but I believe Razorfist said that uh, one of them he settled because there was also a criminal investigation from the FBI going on. So he had to settle because he wanted to, to wait to uh, show the evidence uh, to the FBI as uh, to not expose their defense of, uh, of Michael Jackson. So the only thing that these people really have is that one uh, civil court case where uh, Michael Jackson settled f in preparation for his criminal trial. Anyways. I believe th for the accusers, the director and HBO, this has always been about the money and ratings. Weitzman continued. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. HBO just uh, defamed a dead man who can't uh, defend himself. Uh, Michael Jackson can't defend himself. He is 
uh, he's dead. He, he's been dead for 10 years. And HBO s basically paid the, the people who made this documentary to do zero research, listen and believe. And my, uh, people like Matt Walsh just believe this bullshit. The Jackson estate filed a lawsuit against HBO earlier this year, saying the cable network violated a non-disparagement agreement with the late pop star. According to the uh, court filing, damages could exceed hundred million dollars. Oh wow, wow! Holy crap! Yeah, this article just shows. This is by Jeffrey K uh, Kwood. How wrong Matt Walsh is and uh, uh, the Leaving Neverland uh, directors were by just publishing this bullshit. And it's also interesting, I'm looking at the views. The updated version, which is the correct one, got uh, almost 170,000 views. As, uh, uh, I'm recording this, 168.2 views, thousand views. Matt Walsh's garbage article has 570.9k uh, views and he's completely and utterly wrong in his uh, article. Um, yeah, I, I, just, I just can't understand how Daily Wire basically uh, uses this uh, uh, dead man's uh, name to, uh, to get clicks. I th find it highly unethical. To be posted uh, on uh, at least there uh, they had another writer who had the decency to do some two seconds of research and debunk this bullcrap from Matt Walsh and I have to th uh, thank um, the Ice Queen for actually uh, reminding me uh, and making this brilliant uh, comment uh, of uh, of me doing a follow up so thank you for that uh, Ice Queen. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.